Surge. It's gonna be a good day. Oh yeah, so you know what? The last time I was with Ken, we were out in the desert ripping a Ram TRX, trying not to hit our own cameraman. Did good. Oh be more. <laughs> <laughs> Today, slightly different kind of setup. You like it, don't you? Hey, I still have not hit a cameraman. It's a weird flex bit before. What's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, by the way, this thing looks hard out here. I couldn't agree more. We launched this like a year ago almost, exactly to the day. You know, basically around SEMA time or before SEMA, and then Toyo had this in their booth along with Brian Scotto's car uh, at SEMA. So yeah, it's, it's been a while since we've actually shown this off very much. And I've done a tiny, tiny bit of testing on it, but today is the actual real first test of the car. So we're out here at lovely Willow Springs, California. It's supposed to peak out about 100 degrees here uh, in the middle of the day. So we're gonna try and get this uh, testing stuff done this morning, but I wanna capture the sound of this thing because it just sounds incredible and do some actual proper sliding around. So that's why you're out here with me. We're gonna yes. have some fun finally with this car. It's been a busy year. Like I've had a lot to do with Audi, with the e-tron stuff. <laughs> Getting ready to uh, launch a particular video with the e-tron, Hunatron car. Uh, on top of that, I've been racing the, you know, American Rally Association Championship. We have two races left, and Brandon Semenek and I are battling for the overall championship, just four points apart. So yeah, it's been quite busy. So I've not had time for these sort of projects. I wish I had more time, but you know, the car has actually been out at Borla. We'll dive into a bit of the details of that, but that's why I'm in California instead of Utah, that time has been so tight, I've had to come out here to do this testing as opposed to doing it close to home. So in the episode that we did, that we actually did the walk around and launch of this car, we talked about it being version one. And it really was like one of the first times that I saw the car done, but now we've had some time to change some things and do a quick test and therefore adjust a few other things. So. Now's the first day to really take it out and do a proper test, really slide the car around. I have it as a play car, actually, to have fun with it, but I also fit a lot better in this car than my old RS200, so I can actually daily drive this thing around, around my hometown of Park City. But I haven't done that yet because we've been waiting to do these proper tests and really have the car set up correctly. Nice. Now, real quick, give me a tee up. What is the car, year, make, model, and then we can, we'll dive into it's a 80s Audi Sport Quattro replica. So back in the day to race in the World Rally Championship, the manufacturers had to make 200 homologation specials so that they could then go race that car in the WRC. Well, those 200 cars are very, very valuable and you don't want to mess with them. But unfortunately, they're kind of underpowered. They were built 300 horsepower back in the day, which was great at that time. But I prefer around 700 horsepower, so it, it checks out. <laughs> yeah, so it's called the Turbo Monster. It's a, a you know two different cars, cut apart, put together to make uh, the Sport Quattro style body, and then it's actually a you know a different engine spec, but very similar to the original engine spec. It's a 2.5 liter, five cylinder turbocharged engine. And by the way, all these details are in the launch episode. You should go back and watch that. I do not want to dive into all those details today because we've already done that. You should go back and watch that other episode. But we should dive into some of the particular details of things that have been changed. 
um, and do a quick overview of some of the other parts. That's right, because today it's all about action. It's yeah. about sound. It's about performance. Hopefully we get to burn some tires off. <laughs> You know what, because these proxies, these Toyo R888Rs, they make the right kind of smoke, sir. Yeah, and, and just a quick overview, it is a rotiform uh, wheel. We do detail more specs on that in that other previous episode, and it's wrapped in a, a Toyo Proxy R888R. It's a 255 35 18. All-wheel drive car, so square setup all the way around. Very simply... Some nice uh, Recaro seats with the It's a Living graphics on it. Oh, yeah. Very nice Hoonigan handbrake there. By the way, still has a normal handbrake for parking. That's nice. <laughs> hey, streetcar stuff. <laughs> yep. So let's go into some of those details of what's changed on the car since that original launch. You know, there, there's some very basic things, obviously, like a, like a license plate. Uh, by the way, the license plate came from, I was at a race and uh, a guy came up to me for me to sign his license plate, and he had a Carcane license plate. Oh, that was 100 Acre Wood. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was, it was right, it was right after like, you hit the deer. I was like, that is a brilliant idea, because I'm a Carcane addict, so I need a Carcane license plate, and this happened to be the perfect car for that to go on to. Nice. The, one of the coolest things about these cars, at least to me, I'm a V8 guy, right? That's like the best sound in the world to me. <laughs> But of all of the engine configurations, not eight cylinders and in a V, the inline five sounds fucking sick. Yeah, and on top of that, Borla has made us a, an exhaust uh, custom for this car. Yeah, this thing is actually a trip. If you look inside of here, it's been at Borla. They've been building the exhaust for it. And you'll notice this is pretty different looking, right? This is their polyphonic technology, right? So instead of like just a straight, perforated core, straight shot muffler. It actually uses these different sized, and they're sized at a very specific diameter and to create sound without actually like losing velocity, which is pretty rad. Um, this one, it's a little special. Usually they have like four of these tubes in there, but you'll notice this has five because we got five cylinders. Absolutely, so Borla just does exceptional work. And for a car like this to, to take it, do a you know, a completely custom uh, tubing setup throughout the car and then end with a beautiful tip like this. It really is exceptional craftsmanship and done right here in Southern California. So thank you, Borla. Appreciate the uh, hard work in getting this beautiful setup done for me. Are you going to make all the, the all the sounds for me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I need, and, I, we and need it. And that's why I feel like saying that the Original setup was version one. This is a big part of what is version two. So really trying to just exemplify that beautiful sound. And now we're gonna capture it here on this track today. So, you know, some other just real basic changes was, you know, steering wheel, steering wheel setup, location of handbrake, those sort of things. Like I said, I did a really quick small test with this just to kind of get an idea of how everything worked and how everything felt. And, Wanted to make some subtle changes, that sort of stuff, but steering wheel being a very simple, easy one, this this new wheel is much nicer. Uh, and the handbrake setup where it was located, it was a little, just wasn't a perfect spot for me. So now we've we've moved it, and it uh, works better. And internally, there's a few little changes on the technical side, along with some diff setup stuff. So. You know, like I said, that, that quick test was a good place to get like a baseline, but today's the real test to really kind of push the car and see how it feels, see how it works. I was trying to figure out what helmet to bring out today. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And my really good rally helmet is actually with the truck out in Pennsylvania for our next race. So uh, we were looking through our open face helmet options and the Gymkhana 7 helmet was available just sitting there on the shelf. And I thought, eh. It's a pretty good helmet for today. It's iconic Troy Lee. Look at that metal flake. Yeah, it is Gym beautiful. Seven. That that won my heart. All right, let's do it. We should get in. Make beautiful I five noises.
outside noises. Turbo, blow off, surge. It's gonna be a good day. Sound from the outside, Dude, it's killer, especially yeah. on this uphill under under full load. This it's where it's at. Yeah, All I, I wish I had more room. I want to go fourth to fifth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you think but, it's about time we, uh, you know, yeah, I, I think well? this part of the uh, the driving is done. I think it's time to let's get to some action. I want to see how it really slides around. Hell yeah, I would say that uh, sound sound is confirmed, still sick. <laughs> Now let's see what he do, uh, yeah. what it's meant to do. I I can't wait to actually hear it because I haven't heard this car from the outside. You want me to go take some rips in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> just check it. Just check. It. Sound check went great. Turbo five cylinder noises still sick as fuck. Handbrake it seems to work. I think it's about time we go and party. We're gonna head over to uh, we're gonna head over to the balcony and uh, see what old girl do. Here at a very, very familiar spot to us, familiar spot to you, but this is, this is the balcony. Lots of testing here. Uh, I've done much testing here, but it's like Southern California, well, one of Southern California's spots to learn how to drift and to test your, test your drift car. There's rubber all over the, I mean, it pretty much looks black everywhere and it's actually old asphalt. You can see down there, it's actually very gray, but it's pretty black from, from all the, uh, all the drifting that goes on here, but I've done, you know, test for rally cross cars here. I've done tests for my Jim Connor cars. It's just a very good place to, to bring a car out and test. So, perfect spot for us to party with this thing. Nice. So we got to you got to basically. Like shake. I'm using your words now. Yeah. It's mainly because I've got the ACDC Sick. collab DCs on. You know. <laughs> Let's go. So <laughs> which yeah. happens to be my my 11 year old son's favorite band right now. See, Micah, you're living, you're living right, kid. Way to raise him good. Now, let me ask you something real quick. When you're going to shake down a new car, right, shake down a new build, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to do? Well, I'm looking to see basic control of these all-wheel drive diffs. We've done a few adjustments with them, but I haven't, I've done very slow stuff with it. So I'm going to try and do a little faster slides with it, do some figure eights, do some donuts just kind of see the variety of what it'll do so that we can adjust it for the future even. But I haven't done that with this car besides something very minimal. So this is gonna be all new, so I just gotta try. All right, well, let's send it. All right.
so Ken, initial initial thoughts on the, the first pass. Well, this is testing, right? So we're trying to figure out what works and doesn't work. The first thing I tried to do was like a fast second gear slide and the car just spun out. So already I'm feeling something's wrong with the front diffs or the rear diffs are got too much power and it's just over overpowering the front. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna go try some other stuff now. Some figure eights, some donuts, that sort of thing. Cause I was able to roughly do that before. So I'm gonna see if it'll still do that, but a little alarming that the first thing I tried doesn't work. I mean, you came <laughs> in super hot. Uh, yeah, well, of course. Yeah. But that was only second gear. Yeah. So that's why we're doing this today. Try and figure out what's wrong, what's right. So we can develop it and get it right. Yeah. So I'm gonna get back in, do some stuff around those blue things over there. Okay, nice. Well, jump in. Let's uh, see what she does around some barrels. All right. You know what? When you're doing those center axis donuts, I saw something. One, <laughs> one of your wheels isn't even moving. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's just hooking the inside, whatever. Well, I think in that must be bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we found a problem. Yeah, unfortunately, that's why we're here testing. It's fun. The car really doesn't like me right now. The battery's dead. <laughs> Power steering isn't working. It's really hot. <laughs> I kept doing laps to cool it down, and like, it's not cooling down by much. Nah. It's got enough battery to run the fan, so that helped help cool it down some. But yeah, it's not happy. <laughs> it really sucks when you're abusing your own personal daily driver, really very part-time, hopefully future daily driver. But uh, race cars I'm used to abusing because that's what they're meant for. But this is a really nice, pretty, fun street car. So I don't want to kill it. No, but no. It was a lot of fun. It was, I, I, I mean, it's, hey, it sounds sick. Yeah. It, it seems like it rips when it's like when it's working, especially like digging it out of the hole like in yeah. a straight line. Wait, it, wait. Let's get. I want to see. I want to see your actual face on the camera here. You need to give me the commentary from the outside of the car. Yeah. I don't know what it looks like. Okay, so check it out. It it sounds impeccable, right? For a non V8. For motor? non V8, <laughs> non you know forced induction V8. You know it sounds great. But no, it sounds it sounds absolutely killer. It moves real quick. It looks good. It evaporates <laughs> tires, right? When you're on it, man. I mean, it's like that. That's some melty. Uh, you got a lot of rubber left there. So yeah. you know what? All in all, it's a good car, and it looks cool. So for a non V8, for non V8, you're giving it a pretty good review. Here. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a good review. And my favorite part is when you fire it up. It's got some chop. 
Oh, it, yeah? it chops. It chops a little bit, you know? Nice. So I nice. like that. And I think once once everything's like dialed in, it's gonna scoot. So I, I feel like the gearing's a bit tall. I the diffs, something's obviously wrong with the diffs, but that's why we're here testing. Um, still needs some work in that area, but I feel like we're taking steps. I feel like it's a lot of fun. It, yeah. it, it's exactly what I thought I wanted with the sounds, the way it moves, how quick it is, some turbo, some turbo lag, but these are just things that we got to try and fix. Have you so. considered nitrous oxide? <laughs> 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 no, I've not considered that. All right. Well, yeah, I guess this means we get to do another test on this. All right. All right. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for fun. sending it.